All right, so knowing your shop. First thing we have to start with is knowing your shop. Every shop is different. If someone talks to you about pricing and the first thing they say is they toss out a number. Say they just go, okay, uh, 99 cents per thousand stitches. They really aren't thinking about your shop. That might be a good baseline. It might be something that's normal to the industry, but it doesn't take into account the unique position that your shop is in. Your total costs may be different than the costs of their shop. Let's say that, like me, I'm in New Mexico. I, right now, I'm sitting in an office in Albuquerque, New Mexico. My office costs maybe $150 a month, which some of you are going to hear that and, and be astounded that I have a small office uh, in a shared office space for $150 a month. If you were in another state, in another city even, you could not expect that incredibly low property cost. My costs are not going to be the same as costs in New York or in California or in Oregon or anywhere or across the world. So if you don't take your costs, your locality, like I said, over on the right-hand side, you see local or in your niche market, you don't take your locality into account, you don't really know your costs. Uh, somebody might not take your niche market into account. You may have a market that's willing to pay more for your products based on the kind of market they are. If you're selling into, say, a hobby market is your niche, and that hobby is a very expensive hobby, these people might be very used to spending a great deal on the products that they use for their, their hobby or for their team or for their company, and they may be willing to pay more than another niche. Also, your equipment. If you're somebody who has a single head machine, the amount of production you can do on a single head machine isn't the same as a 12 head, isn't the same as, a, as two single head machines. If somebody doesn't ask you about your equipment, then the money that they tell you to charge won't take into account your actual throughput. Also, your unique value. And that's why I talked about unique value earlier. You may find that there's something you do, and you should find something that you do, that sets you apart from your competitor. Now, whether that's something that has to do with the product you're producing, whether it has to do with the service or the experience that you give or something about your creativity or your execution or your quality of your decoration, there is a unique value that you can provide that another shop can't. So all of these come together to make up your shop's unique position. So you have to know your shop before you can price. If you don't know anything about your shop, if you don't have anything measured or recorded, if you haven't thought about these things, the likelihood that someone else giving you a random price off the top of your head is going to work for your business is low. Or at the very least, it's not taking into account all it could be to give you the best pricing for your shop.